What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about the new feature that 2K just announced, the shot timing visual cue settings. And by the way, I'll be covering the newest features on NBA 2K24, so after watching, just check the channel out, everything will be there. So before we go to the main topic, I'll give you a quick recap first on how shot timing release time settings worked last year. Because according to Mike Wang, this new settings here is just a revamped version of that one. So basically, shot timing release time settings will set if which part of the shot timing you need to release the shoot button, which is somehow related to visual cue as well, because very late will usually be at the flick of the wrist, so in some way it's kind of related to visual cues. Now, then what's the difference between this one and the new one? With shot timing release time settings, for example, you have two jump shots, one is slow and one is fast, the green window on the very early settings on the slow jump shot could be here, and the very early on the very fast jump shot could be here. It could be different. So meaning, even though you have the same settings, its relation to visual cues will be different on each jump shots. So that's a problem because the moment you change jump shots, you have to figure it all out all over again. That's not the case on the new visual cue settings. What I think 2K wants to achieve here on this new visual cue settings, they want everything to be based on the actual animation. So no matter what jump shot you use, the only thing you need to look at is the actual visual cues. In here, Mike Wang mentioned jump set point or shot release. I'm not too sure though if those are the only options, or maybe there's more. But let's say there's an option called forehead. So meaning, no matter what jump shot you choose, the green timing will always be when the ball is right in front of your forehead. So this will be really helpful if you keep swapping jump shots, or if you're playing my team. So no matter who is shooting on your team, or no matter what jump shot you choose, you know that the perfect timing will always be when the ball is right in front of your forehead, or whatever settings you choose. By the way, let me know in the comment section what you think is better, shot timing release time settings or this year's visual cue settings. But for me personally, I actually like the visual cue settings. I think one of the main problems we have is when we change jump shots, we need to spend like a lot of time to find a sweet spot. So having these new settings is a really great change for me. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.